Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another one of our videos. In today's video, we do the Umbreon and Darkrai Tag Team Powers Collection box. This is part of a, I guess you would call it a internal pack battle, but we're just basically trying to see which box has the better pulls in it. Last video was interesting. We got a Charizard EX out of XY Evolutions, but with that said, today we have the new contender on the block, the Umbreon and Darkrai box. So without further ado, I will briefly show you the promos on screen real quick. You do get three of them. I will get that camera into focus in just a moment's time. So you do get a Glaceon and a Leafeon, I guess to go with the EVGX that they give you. And you do get this cool Regigigas Hollow card. Those are three quote unquote hidden promos because they're actually on the backside of the um, call cards or the cards that are shown more prominently on the box. And those include a Caracosta GX, which you can see right here, which is pretty neat. You do get a EV GX, which is pretty prominently featured on the box, as well as a Umbreon and a Deoxys card. So the good news is that with this new booster, uh, with this new booster pack box setup that they have, I guess, they'll give you both cards because in the past they might have separated it so that you'll have to buy both boxes to get both promo cards. In this case, you're getting both of them. The bad news is that they basically lock the cards in with the worst type of secure holding that they possibly can muster. So as a result, I actually damaged the cards out of the Espeon box. Um, there were some very light flakes, so I don't think it's worth grading them anymore because they're rough. I actually ended up having to basically do box surgery in order to get these guys out. So just a fair warning, if you are looking to buy this box, have a very delicate time getting those out. The other thing you get in this box, which is pretty cool, is this gigantic um, version of the card. So this is box exclusive. In some boxes, you'll get the Dark Ryan Umbreon, and in other boxes, you'll get the Espeon and Deoxys. So those will be our first two pulls. And then, of course, what you came here for, packs, which you have tons of, by the way. So just to summarize, you do get, I believe, two Cosmic Eclipse, one Celestial Storm, two Sword and Shield packs, one Sun and Moon pack, and I completely butchered this, so we are going to just run through these really quickly again in some kind of order, I promise. But long story short, you do have a nice variety of packs that I think really helps with the opening of this box. I like it because it's kind of like a trip through time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First off and foremost, this XY Evolutions pack came out way back in 2016. Pretty nifty. Last time we opened up one of these, we pulled the amazingness that is a Charizard EX. Um, and this time around, hoping for a Mega Charizard EX? Question mark. Anywho, in case you're curious, we will not be giving out code cards in today's video. Today, if you want a code card, reach out to me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to show them. The reason I do this is sometimes I want to make sure that just in case people are taking code cards, that there are some left over for those who don't get a chance to get here in time. So without further ado, if you need them, go ahead and hit me up. You got a coughing, a Misty's Determination, a Revive, a Seal, a Magikarp, an Electric Energy, a Caterpie, a Ghastly, Drowsy is our reverse, and a regular rare Dutrio. Okay, so Umbreon and Darkrai not necessarily doing the big hits right away. That's totally fine. Next up is a Sun and Moon pack. These are the original base set. Came out quite a while ago, and apparently now they are considered the retro pack in these types of boxes. So in case you thought you were getting old, you actually are. That's good. It's very good. One, two, three, four from the back for Sun and Moon era packs. And without further ado, got a Grass Energy, got a Pimikyu, a Rotom Dex, a Passimian, a Grubbin, a Fero, Snubble, Sandile, Picky Peck, a Torkoal is our reverse, and a Primarina is our regular rare for the pack. I actually chose Primarina for my Sun and Moon video game playthroughs. Let me know down below, what did you choose as your starter? Um, got a Lost Thunder pack coming up, so 
I love the pack artwork. The Celebi is like really pretty. I don't know, maybe that's just me being weird. Who knows? Um, got another code card. I did unfortunately see that it was green, so. Ooh, gross. Green code cards. Got a Psychic Energy, a Heracross. I love this Heracross. It looks like it's straight out of the anime. Got a Pinsir to go along with it. Got a Memory Energy. That's pretty dope. A Marini. A Larvitar. I'm a huge fan of that evolutionary line. Good looking card there, not gonna lie. Got a Slowpoke. That is... Wow. That Slowpoke is on acid. There's no other way to say what I just said. Um, a Cub Chew. A Diglett, a, oh, it's an Alolan Diglett, hence the larger nose. Oh, hello, Celebi break card. Break card? What is this? This is a, yeah, one of those. And a Azumarill. Okay, okay, this is cool. Let me go ahead and get this sleeved up super quickly. So this is pretty nifty. Um, I have pulled these cards before, but unfortunately, I'm a blubbering idiot and sometimes don't know what to say. Um, I pulled, I believe in the past, I've pulled a Jirachi as well as a Latios. So these Prism cards, I just remember the name. Um, yeah, these are really cool nifty cards. I think they might as well be the quote unquote gold stars for this generation, but I think they just get, you know, pulled up a with a little bit more frequency. I don't know if it's as severe as there's only one per booster box. So there is that to consider. Um, we do have a Celestial Storm. Big pull out of this is the Rayquaza, in my opinion. Um, and it's cool because that same Rayquaza ended up being a pretty major part of Hidden Fates, becoming a promo card that was given out with a majority of the boxes. That is a green code card, but the, I mean, I was talking smack about green code cards and we pulled green, so how do you like that? Next up, we have a Psychic Energy. TV Reporter, Life Herb, Gorbis, a Sneasel, a C Dot. <laughs> I love C Dot, and I've always wanted a C Dot, and I always said if I played Emerald again, I would run with a C Dot. But no. Got a Gulpin, another C Dot. I like the art. See, I like when different sets of cards come with different artworks, even within the set. So you have two different versions of that, right? You got a Beldum, looks pretty calm and serene in the jungle or wherever he's in the woodlands got a life herb and x plowed is our regular rare fun fact about celestial storm it was meant to be a reprint of the third generation of cards obviously the third generation covers a pretty large spectrum all of the ex series um but they wanted to really kind of feature the gen 3 pokemon in that particular set so that's kind of the intention behind that particular set of cards and why it is the way it is next up we have a cosmic eclipse pack got a leaf energy a dragonium z a dust clops professor oak setup a Passimian, a jangmoo rowlet love this card this card is so simple really cool artwork it's the clay but i love it got a scrub and if you look in the background, it's actually a Dial, no, it's actually a Palkia image. So definitely Gen 4 remakes confirmed with that. Got a Pikachu, number 25. Got an Alolan Vulpix, and aha, an, Alo an Alolan Persian is our rare for the pack, but it's the GX. So got a sleeve for that real quick. Good looking card. And. Yeah, the centering's off a little top to bottom, but honestly, can't really complain. So we will add that to the pulls. Next up, we have a Cosmic Eclipse pack again. So that's interesting. We pulled Charizard EX in the last box, and I guess one would consider the Charizard EX to be a very spicy pull. Um, and then magically, in this box, we didn't pull, quote-unquote, something so spicy, but we did pull a Prism card as well as a regular GX card, so that's interesting. Got a Water Energy, got an Araquanid, a Thoreau, a Dartrix, a Whalmer, that is also on Acid, so that's good, Palpitoad, a Cricketot, an Apom, a Woobat, a Magnemite, which is very off-center, may I just say, and a Heliolisk as our 
regular rare for the pack. And I nearly definitely just dropped all those cards. Uh, last up, two sword and shield packs. I will keep holding out that one of these has a gold Zacian card. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't, I'll live. I probably won't live. I'll be really sad, but that's fine. We're here to fight the power man. Got a green code card out the back. Like I said, guys, if you want code cards, hit me up on Instagram. Go throw me a follow over Dataway, and I promise you, you will get some code cards. Got a fighting energy, a pseudo wudo to go with the fighting energy, an Elder Gloss, energy search, a Rhyhorn, a Roselia, Pharaoh Seed, Krabby. Like this Krabby, love Krabby. Cool card, cool Pokemon there. Galarian Zigzagoon. Probably still would be my HM slave if I had a chance. And Inteleon is our reverse rare, so that's pretty nifty. <sighs> and what is our... Ooh, it's a Cloyster. All right, moving on. Cloyster, uh, uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love Cloyster. Cloyster. Oh, God, Cloyster. All right, well. All right, friends. A little bit of last pack magic. How fun. And it's a green code card. So interesting turn of events there. One, two, three, four. And let's swing it around town and begin. So we have a Psychic Energy, a Pokemon Center Lady, a Seeking, a Hitmonchan, a Slizipede, a Yamper, a Clobopus, a Cottony, a Chewtle. Aurora Energy is this really good looking uncommon so it is just like i think it looks a lot more epic because it looks like epic artwork but that's a really pretty card and then our rare is a drampa Alrighty, friends so to recap um and i could have sworn that i had the cards right here so here's the deal in our last box we had a Charizard EX pulled out of XY Evolutions. As you can see, it is horrendously off-center, but is it still the big pull? Um, I don't know. I'll let you decide. So that's what came out of the Espeon and Deoxys box. In the Umbreon and Darkrai box, we got a Alolan Persian and a, Cel and a Celebi Prism card. And I personally think this box won, but guys, let me know down below what you think. Which box won? If you haven't checked that video out, go do so, and then maybe let me know over there. Which of the two do you think won? I personally believe it's the Umbreon and Darkrai box. Also let me know down below. What do you think? Which box is better? Have you gotten better pulls than I did? Feel free to share those stories down below. It's always fun to hear. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video and checking us out. If you like what you saw and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Otherwise, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support every single day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thanks again for checking us out, and we'll see you real soon. Peace.